Sí. Hello and welcome to the Giant Snail Races. This is Racer X going and Happy Leprechaun Day and Easter. And as you see, I dress for both. And then uh, there's my lovely wife, Safra. She's in her lovely green thing there. Say hi, Safra. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Irish edition of Snail Racing. Safra runs the stream and, and does stuff for us. And then uh, there's Tindy. Tindy's next to her. Say hi, hi Tindy. Hello, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day, with a little Easter fun thrown in for everybody. And Tindy's our pro snail and announcer. And there's uh, Salem with her mouth stuck open. Say hi, Salem. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to our St. Patrick's, a very, a very St. Patrick's Easter day. And uh, Salem's for here for comic relief, and that's why her mouth's stuck open, I guess. Okay, I guess we're ready to go. Um, get down there, snails, and let's let's get this thing going. Alrighty, Salem, why don't you tell us who's out there for our first race of the day? All right, racer, and so let's get started with our purple scarf snail of Gareth Eight Albatross. Snooky Snoodle is the one wearing the red scarf. The blue scarf we will find on the neck of Kirkland Coba. Safra. The Knightly is the one wearing the green scarf. Ooh, extra luck today. The Cyan scarf is being worn by Tendalia Soothsayer. Ulumi Noodle has worn the Yay. yellow scarf. The orange scarf we will find on the neck of Ashley Dwight. And last but not least, Alden Cortez is the one with the pink scarf. Those are our snails. It is now time to get to the button. Go for it, lady with your mouth open. <laughs> That's never going to close. <laughs> That's a pretty short skirt. Alrighty. Some great... That was a great, great crowd. Meow. Meow, 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 three, meow, meow, two, one, meow! Comes the uh, leprechaun cows. We have blasted the wall with some shamrock and it is go, go, snails! On Devon Dreams for our first race of the day. And there we are, collision stars all around as they come through the gates and going out towards the tank. The giant fish tank with sharks in it. Mm, sure hop there. Ooh. And yes, a couple snails a don't get the hop. hop. One falls in the tank somehow. Pops back up. Snails are Looks making like their way across. Gareth, a lot of green snails out there today. Oh yes. Maybe they're seasick. There's uh, Gareth in the lead. He's got a he's got like a beer mob strapped to his chin there. Of Chunky the snail. Chunky the snail. Being powered by it. There they all go across the way up sure, huh? there. But it Letting at checkpoint number three. If you're the first one to get to those mushrooms there, you you have to you bounce them out of your way. Uh, they're making their way into the moving maze. <laughs> oh, me finds his way out of there first, and followed by uh, Gareth, Gareth and, I think. and and Tindy. Yes. And someone else is next. And then, Hard to tell and when you're almost Snurky. on top of the person. Snurky got stuck in the wall there. Oh no. No, Snurky. I think Safra is first. It could be Safra, yes. And they start their second lap. Neck and neck. A lot of like snails in this group. Oops, I got... 
Knocked oh. into the tank. Oh, so did uh, someone else. And someone has been orbited. <laughs> Sapphire's way up in the sky somewhere. She's no, that's not. That's Udomika way up in the sky. Yes. Gareth's in the lead. Udomika's in second. The rest of the snails are in the shark pit. Here comes Safra in third. It looks like. I have a bad feeling about that. Being crunked by the skillet in the sky. It's a oh green coat skillet in the sky. <laughs> it's actually to theme this week. There it goes our snails through the moving maze once again for the second time. Oops, I missed a mushroom. Is that early or second? Who's in the lead? Not sure. Well, so far, so far it uh, looks to be uh, Gareth. Oh yeah, okay, Gareth, yeah. And stuck in a wall. I always love when that happens. Gareth and Udelmi. Udelmi's trying to get a hop up there, though. He finally does. Not enough to put him in a lead, but still in second place. Starting the third lap is Gareth. He's still a snail way back there in orange. I believe that's Ashley. Ashley going up in the sky right now. There's Udelmi just crossing in front of us. There's Safra and uh, the third, I think. Yes, yes. Safra likes that third spot position there. Tindy behind Safra. And remember, this is just our practice race, so it doesn't really make that big a difference. But uh, next week, we've got the uh, Relay for Life race coming up, and it's going to be cross country. It's going to be on the uh, old, uh, the original, original course, but with the detour to the south, because it goes past the. Uh, it's gonna go past the, uh, the 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 shelter and the uh, info hub, which would be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we'll get a lot of snails for that. If you want to be in it, come on down to the track, look at the poster, click on it, and put some money in the vendor, and you get to, you get to race whatever much money you put in there. We'd like a thousand apiece, but whatever you can afford is fine. It's more fun to have more snails. It's like Ashley got lapped by uh, Gareth. Ah. That's okay. Ashley, we still love our new snails. Mm hmm. That's not going to change. You can, you can come and be a slow snail, that's fine. <laughs> practice and practice, and someday you'll get better. There's a lot of snails getting stuck in the maze today. I think they're gonna have some winners here any sec. Yep, I think that was it. Somebody won. Gareth already crossed. Gareth has crossed. Udomi is yeah. popping up into second, I think. There's a snail in the maze still. <laughs> here comes the snail down, and it looks like Udomi is gonna get second place. Does it? Yes, Udomi, and then. Uh, Tindy gets third. And then Tindy gets third. Yes. How do you feel about that, Tinny? <laughs> you seem a little disgruntled already. Here comes Safra. There's Safra for fourth. Yay. And there's four snails left out there. There's one in the maze still. Two at uh, uh, the rest are coming out of the maze. Here we go. Who's this orange? This orange one? Ashley. Does Ashley need to go around again? Yeah. Yes. Yes. She does. For Ash, some Ash. Why is this always happening to her? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Ashley, go take another lap. Uh. All the Cortez takes fifth. There it goes. And uh, Snurgy. Snuggle takes six. Six. Where's that blue snail? Who's that? Kirkland. Kirkland. Yes. He's uh he's looking for checkpoint five. There he is, coming up the ramp. Up the top. Alrighty. What do you think? You want to do the recap while we're waiting for uh, Ashley to come around? Yeah, let's do the recap! So, coming in first, we have Garrett and Albatross. In second place is Udomi Noodle. In third place, Tindaya Soothsayer. Fourth place, Safra 
Knightley. In fifth place, that was the Alden Cortez. Sixth place, Snarky Schnoodle. In seventh place, Kirkland Coba. And let's let's just go, let's just place, let's go look at Fanny. Ashley. That's, and now, where's it's Ashley? Time to go we get, we're not going to watch Ashley. Ashley. We're not going to watch Ashley finish. Well, let's okay. Let's watch Ashley finish. Where? Let's see. Where she's she on she four. Maps. She's looking she's for four. She's in the maze. Yeah, she's almost she's in done. The maze. So let's take a look. Let's see if Ashley can finish the race. She's running as fast as she can. That's yep. for sure. Not that way. Not that way. Nope. Not that way. All right. Here she comes. Oh, here she comes. Watch out, snail. She'll chew you up. Oh, here she comes. She's a snail leader. I change it just enough so it's not really... <laughs> yeah. A cannibal? Yeah. She eats Coming best part go. She's got lovely purple feet. Coming down. Here she comes. I guess she. I think she's gonna get it. I think she's gonna get seventh or eighth. I mean, eighth. here it comes. Eighth. She's got it. Oh, great. All right. Now it's time for hey. Racer and the stats. Now let's recap her. Yeah. No. <laughs> Racer and the stats. All right. Okay. So um, so far we've had one race this season, our third season of uh, this year of 2013, and uh, so far we got. Tindy in the lead with 10 points. Gareth 8 in second with 8 points. Safra in third with 6 points. Ruby Noodle in fourth with 4 points. Ravenclaw Resident in, uh, what, fifth with 3 points. And Ashley Spellhunter in, um, um what was this, 6 points? 6, six place? Yes, yeah, 6. Mm -hmm. 6. I, I'm in trouble remembering stuff. Okay. And that's that. And now we go up to uh, Salem and the Booth with the uh, Best in Show. We had a lot of snails for this today. So, who do you like for oh, Best in Show? Yes, we do. All right, racer. And so, let's get on to our Best in Show. We have five competitors in our Best in Show this week. So, it's going to be a winner with four runners-up. And so, runner-up number four is going to be Gareth 8 Albatross. Yes, Look at that wonderful snail. He's got some uh, the Irish flags up there, and he's drinking a Guinness. I'm not sure if that's really an Irish brand drink, but but at least he made it into the best in show, and his snail is looking good, and he has refreshments for it. Let's see now our third runner-up. It's going to be, yes, I'm going to put Snurky Snoodle as our third runner-up. Yeah, and Snooky is uh, a late entry, but at least she made an effort, and I award her, her applaud her for that. Yes, looking all nice and green in that snail, Snooky. And so we're, that means two runners up left, and our winner, runner up number two, is going to be Tindalia Soothsayer. Yes, Tindy is all decked out in all sorts of uh, Irish lore. All over, uh, we have leprechauns and the like jumping all around, and a nice, wonderful uh, outfit being worn by the by the front of the snail. Yes, very enjoyable, but just as delightful is going to be Safra Knightley, our first runner-up. She not only has a wonderful dress on, but also a full uh, a full uh, diorama of Irish. Uh, celebration going on on the back of her shell. Yeah, look at all that. You see all little characters running around having all sorts of time on this day of the wearing of the green. So that leaves our winner. And our winner is going to be Alden Cortez. Yes, Alden. Congratulations. You are our winner looking all nice and green. Uh, that is a wonderful job you did there. I love the bow on that snail as well, so that is our best in show. It is now time to get back to Racer and Snail Dude. Alrighty, this is the part of the show where we put Snail Dude in the cannon and we shoot him off. Yeah, that's what we do. We put Snail Dude in the cannon and we shoot him off to the other side and uh, something terrible happens to him. That's just the way it goes. <laughs> get in the cannon. 
just get in the cannon. Maybe maybe it's your lucky day. <laughs> Who knows? Get get in the cannon. Get in the cannon. Get there. He's in the cannon. Okay. Prepare to be astonished. There he goes. I think he's gonna hit. I think he's gonna land in the water. Yeah, the pan, the big green pan. Oh yes, past the pan. Yeah, that's always good. The pan is. The pan has actually hit him before. Yay! Yay! He made it. I hope those aliens don't come again. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> There's a big gold oh. coin for you, snail dude. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, it's got to be worth a lot of money, though. He could probably get himself fixed with that. Alrighty. <laughs> the crowd cheers. <laughs> what a lovely crowd. <laughs> Thanks for that. Alright. Don't spend it all in one place. Great. Let's get back to that snail show. The snail races. Alright, Salem. Let's, who's, who's out there for our final race of the day? Okay, racer and so let's get down to our purple scarf and that is wearing our purple scarf this time is Alden Cortez. In the red scarf we will find Snarky Snoodle. The blue scarf is being sported by Kirkland Coba. Safra Knightley is holding on tight to that green scarf. The cyan scarf we will find on the neck of the lovely Tindali Soothsayer. Ulumi Noodle is the one proudly wearing the yellow scarf. Ashley the White is the one with the orange scarf. And finally, last but not least, this time it is going to be Gareth Aid Albatross wearing his lucky pink scarf. Those are our snails. It is now time to get to the buttons. Go button girl, go. Alright, here we go. Dance, 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 dance. Who wears short skirts? She wears short skirts. It's a uniform skirt. Yeah, uniformly short. Mammy, mammy, meow three, meow, meow two, one, meow! Shark Tank. Every year for St. Patrick's Day here in San Antonio, Texas, we uh, dye the uh, San Antonio River green and call it the San Antonio River. Ooh, that must scare the heck out of the fish in there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got uh, Tindy and Gareth in the lead. Uh, looks like Safra in third, and uh, Alden and Udemy in fourth and fifth. And we've got uh, the other two snails pretty close behind. Snarky and... And uh, we make a landing at checkpoint number three. Tindy first. And then it's Udl in second. Safra in third. There's Udemy in fourth. The sixth and seventh just landed. All right. And who's left? There's somebody left and... There's uh, Orange. Who's that? Let's see, darn it. Oh, it's Ashley. Ashley, aw. Oh. Down to the maze. They're already half a lap ahead of Ashley. <laughs> Jeff got out of the maze first. Yep. But closely followed by... Ma. Tindy. I'm um, Tindy. It's a Tindy and Garrison Safra. now going up the ramp. That's Safra and I just third. got smacked in the face with the fireball, so Gareth is now... Slightly ahead. ahead. Yes. And they start their second lap. Go fast, go faster. 
Must go faster. Must go faster. So it's the Garrett and Tindy duel making their way across the fish. That's tank. pretty dangerous when they're both bouncing on those balls at the same time. One of them's bound yeah. to fall through. So those balls can only bounce one person at a time. It looks like they made it across and are trying to negotiate through the gates. Mm -hmm. That are now wide, wide open for the next snail. Giving our our third and fourth place snail a little bit a little bit of a uh, 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 advantage. We hit checkpoint number three and heading for the moving maze for a second time. There you go, Safra, still holding on to third. And so just came out of the maze. Like Alden Cortez, but looks like Alden Cortez has missed checkpoint number four. Uh, no, four's coming up. Four's after the maze. Uh, Alden Cortez missed checkpoint number four for the first time. Oh no! Oh no! He's still a lap behind. Um, should be with with um, Ashley then. And Ashley, Ashley looks like she's yes. Crashed on the button or something. Oh no. She's gonna keep moving the maze for everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Our snails land. That's still in still in front. Ah. Into the tank for the final time. Back to the maze. Looks like Ashley's moving again. Started camp. moving again, but she's going in the wrong direction. Yes, the wrong way. She'll want to turn around when she gets a chance. Oh, there she goes. Wait, no, Blue, you were going the right way. <laughs> Blue, Blue started, saw Ashley take off the wrong direction, thought, started thinking, was he going the right way? But he's going the right way now. Okay, Ashley's got to come through the maze still. Yeah, that's the wrong way, Ashley. Yep, you want to come out of the other end of that maze. Up the route to go. So our other snails are on their final lap, except for these uh, three here. Mm -hmm. Kirkland's getting pounded, pounded by that stuff. Fireballs. There's our leaders. Tindy and Gareth. Looks like Tindy's slightly ahead right now. Or in the moment. Looks like most of, looks like most of this race is uh, won and lost <laughs> in the moving maze. Ashley it certainly feels that way, I'm sure. <laughs> Ashley has found her way out the wrong way out of the maze again. Oh, no. Right, come on, Ashley. You so follow the trick when it comes to the moving maze is you want to go east. Yeah, if you oh, she just teleported away or disappeared. Uh, she's just must be embarrassed or embarrassed. I think she's dying of embarrassment there. Oh my God! <laughs> okay, here we come for the wind. And go. it's the uh, Tindy. Tindy and Gareth. Who's going to be next? It's going to be Sapphire, I bet, with the little planet on her back. Diorama, diorama. Right, right, yeah, diorama. Not that other word. Uh, that's almost... Alright, and then we got Udemy going to come in fourth, I think. Yes. And uh, Snurky will be fifth if he gets out, she gets out of the maze. There's Snurky. Going like crazy. And not that way. There we go. Here comes another maze, another snail into the maze, Kirkland. Making short work of it. Now, we hit that switch there, but nothing happened. That's because it was already on that pattern. Yeah, that happens sometimes. There are independent switches. And there's only a there's set amount of There's, switch, uh, there's four, di four different patterns, and... Sometimes some it picks the same pattern. Yeah, sometimes it's on the same pattern twice. All right, there was a uh, snarky just finished in one... Kirkland. Some, some of the places in Kirkland. And we lost Ashley. Ashley was still, who's, who's that? Alden. Where, where's Alden? Alden is uh, near the end. 
near five, so she's just got out of the maze. She's going up that ramp. Ramp. There she is. Okay. There it is. There you go. Recap. That's up to recap. All right, so coming in first it is to Dalia Susair. In second place, Gareth Aid Albatross. In third place, Sephra Knightley. In fourth place, Umi Noodle. In fifth place, Snooky Snoodle. In sixth, that was Kirkland Coba. In seventh place, that was Alden Cortez. And, well, due to default, in 8th place, it is actually Dwight. Those are snails. Now yes. so let's get to the balloon. Good try, Ashley. So then we are at the part of the snail races where we dance. Yay! Okay, so what's coming up next week? Get it's it's no it's the, it's a giant snail race across country. It's gonna start in El Bitibiliya and uh, at the chat that's at the Bitibiliya <laughs> and uh, actually it starts in here. There's some money next to that. It's for relay for life. It's for relay good for cause. life. It's a good cause. Just put some money in the uh, coin scoop here or the t- touch the sign and and it's lots of fun and everybody gets to be in it and. It should work a lot better this year because the Londons have fixed the uh, connection problems with the Sims and crossing and stuff. So that'll be great. We'll see how that wraps up. We'll so see if they this fix crossing it. crossing should be better, but lag is still. Yeah, there's still be. I'm sure they they broke something else in the process. We'll see what that is when we get there. <laughs> you can still you can cross easier, but it will still take you forever. Yeah, we just won't be able to res any of the snails. <laughs> You're cross though. Okay, anyway. That's what's happening next week. So uh, that's the end of our show. Say good night. Say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good, good night. night, everybody. All right. And have a good night, everyone. And a happy Easter too. All right. <laughs>